Howdy folks, I'm Keith Bowen and this is Hard Rock University. Now this video is the basic decision making that goes into am I going to use a gravity extraction, am I going to use a leaching, or am I forced to use a leaching, and what are the trade-offs between the two. Sometimes the best thing is to use both. So the first thing that you're going to need to determine is mineral exposure and mineral liberation, the size of your gold particles, and these are relatively simple. You grind it up and you can hand pan it to get, you know, anything over, in my case, I can get it down to about 50 to 35 microns without too much trouble. Anything smaller than that, I, I think I'm losing a fair amount. But above that, I'm fairly confident I'm getting a, a good percentage, if not almost all of it. So, what do we mean by mineral liberation and mineral exposure? Well, if you have a rock that's composed of multiple mineral particles and, and crystals and stuff all stuck together, think of granite. You can see the different colored minerals in it. Now, in an ore, only some of those minerals are valuable. The rest are not, and the ones that are not are called gang. Um, so what you want to do is crush it to where you can make a separation. Now if you're going to do flotation or gravity, you have to get it to mineral liberation, to where most of the valuable mineral particles are separated from the invaluable particles, because you're actually doing a physical separation. And as such, you have to have them separate, you know, they can't be bonded together. Um, in the case of leaching, you only have to crush it down to mineral exposure, where you have at least one face of the valuable mineral particle exposed to the leaching solution so it can start dissolving it away. Okay? Now, as a little demonstration, I have here a pork rind. Here in Tucson, we have a uh, some stores called Food City, and they make some serious pork rinds. This is a small one. This simulates a chunk of rock, okay? Now this could be a fairly small piece of rock. You know, this could be a, a hundred mesh particle, theoretically. But let's say this is more like a ten mesh particle, an eighth of an inch across or whatever. Now in here is some gold, but you can't see it because it's inside the rock. Now, as you break the rock, all of a sudden, you can now see the gold. That's just red food coloring, but that's the basic thing. There is a particle of gold that has mineral exposure. You can see that it, the, the leaching solution can get to it whereas before it was inside the rest of the material. That's the amount of crushing you need if you're going to do efficient leaching. Now, to do gravity, you have to get finer. Now you can see that the gold particle is basically separated from the rest. And if you crush it more, then you get smaller gold particles and smaller rock particles. Same basic thing. So now you have mineral liberation and these particles being heavier than these particles, assuming they're large enough to separate well, I mean, these could be, you know, a few atoms across. Assuming they're large enough to separate well, you can now separate them, either through gravity or flotation. Flotation's a little bit technical. Here we have the crushed pork rinds, some with food color on them, from the previous example. And now I'm going to leach it. In this case, it's just water. Should work well with food coloring. Put it in there. And you'll notice 
that the food coloring actually dissolves in the water and distributes itself. Now this would be like what happens in a leach solution, although not nearly this fast. And as you can see, by agitating it, you speed up the process. And once you have it in solution, and you may notice there's still a dark particle running around, you never get 100%. But as it dissolves, they will usually use like activated carbon or an ion exchange resin to get the uh, dissolved gold out of solution. But you just have to have some way of doing it. They would precipitate it with zinc, a number of ways. In this case, if you wanted to recover that uh, food color, you could just filter that and then dry out the water. And the important thing is the gold, the simulated gold in this, is now separated from the solid particles. It's in solution, the solid particles aren't, and you have now made a separation. Now you've simply got to get it from being separated into something usable. In leaching, that's normally done with activated carbon or ion exchange resins, uh, similar to what you'd find in a water softener, but specifically engineered to get gold or other valuable metals out of a leach solution. And that is just kind of a demonstration on how uh, liberation versus exposure works and what you need to do to make it leach or make it gravity extract. Now, when it comes down to it, it's all about money and uh, if you can get a reasonable recovery gravity extracting, you know, 50% or more, and it's really cheap and really simple, maybe best to just do that and stockpile your tailings. Um, sometimes the permitting just totally sucks. <laughs> and so leaching is not really amenable. Um, in the Mojave One situation, we may have to go to some kind of leaching. We'll have to see what works with that ore and what the economics are. It's going to make it more expensive, and that's not a good thing because of the lower grades. The next video is going to be on the upper workings at the Mojave One Prospect and what we found there, and we'll go from that. But I'm afraid we may have to leach. It's not definitive yet. My table may be good enough, maybe as much better as my panning that it will actually work. I'm not really hopeful at this point. This is some really fine gold, some really tough stuff. You know, if somebody has some, uh, you know, multi-ounce to the ton, uh, coarse gold, you know, easily recovered stuff that wants a little help, yeah, give me a, give me a jingle. I'm getting kind of tired with these tough things. They are very educational, but it's kind of annoying. Just once I'd like God to throw me a simple one. So, happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.